Athens from Lindell probably about a year and a half ago. And uh, we visited First Baptist Church a few times and um, started getting involved with some moms that go to First Baptist, started a walking group, started a Moms Connect group, and really got involved then. Um, and just started meeting people and really seeing activities that we could get involved in um, together as a family. And um, we joined the church probably about fall of this past year. Tell us about how y'all got connected at First Baptist. Well, we moved here in the fall of uh, 09. I uh, came to work for Red Dot. And uh, we were looking for a church home, so we decided to scout out all the different places in town. We started out at FBC, and we decided that after scouting out all the other churches, that we wanted to come back to FBC, where it was more of a church that accommodated our family. Um, we've gone through, and we've talked doing uh, D now, and you know, just VBS, different things that uh, have really excited us and motivated us to be part of the church. And uh, we're glad to be here. And uh, it's all due to Gwen Richardson and her uh, pursuing us diligently uh, over a year. And uh, thanks to Gwen and her uh, efforts has uh, actually uh, landed the Alexanders here at First Baptist Church. We had the opportunity to serve at um, Disciple Now. We were asked um, to be a host home for Disciple Now. And so we had the freshman girls, they got to come into our home and spend the weekend and um, we got to feed them and love on them and just watch them um, just grow just for that that short weekend and we were able to have co-hosts and so <laughs> we got, got recruited the, yes we got the alexanders to come and help us co-host and so what did y'all think about co-hosting oh I, I thought it was a blast it was such a wonderful opportunity just to to serve and to get involved with the the youth at our church i hadn't um, i've always worked with the younger kiddos so i hadn't ever gotten to be with the with the older youth, um, and it was it was just wonderful to be able to, to meet them and to love on them, like you said, and to just share God with them, and it brought a lot of joy to my heart, and, and I think was really important for the youth as well. After we got here uh, in 2009, um, Gwen uh, approached me about serving uh, for VBS, and Tanner was little, about four months old, and it took me a couple of days to think about it, and, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to reach the younger kids. That's my passion. It's the uh, uh, that group, the four through, through six-year-olds, and um, uh, I served with them uh, in uh, last year, and then uh, this year I was asked to serve again, um, and the kindergartners and the first graders, just the joy on their faces when they show up at the door every day, it just um, almost brings tears to your eyes because they're so excited to be there and to learn about Jesus Christ, and we can only do that. Um, because we have the facilities at First Baptist. That is the only reason um, it allows us to serve so many different, uh, such a, a different, a wide variety of, of age groups. And um, it's just so exciting to be able to be a part of that, to be able to be able to serve so many different, um, so many different uh, people in, in our community. But it's not just it's not just the people of First Baptist. I mean, we reach out to those that that are outside of the church and we bring them in. And D now was done the same way. And you see how how D now brings in people from the schools that may not have had an opportunity, but they were a friend of somebody, and they said, hey, come with me, come hang out this weekend, we're going to do a lot of crazy things, and there's a lot of videos and a lot of pictures to, that documented all that, so I think they're having a lot of fun doing that stuff, and then now, you know, I know that Reed's pumped up, and his friends are pumped up, and yeah. everybody in the whole community is getting pumped up about it. Talking about Disciple Now, those facilities that we have just gave us such an opportunity to be able to do that. I mean, that, plenty of people came before us, I and mean, we haven't been here all that long, but, you know, over time, the people that have been here, you know, a lot longer than we have, and, and even before them, have given us an opportunity by the fact that they're giving uh, of the facilities that we can use. I mean, you know, they gave us an opportunity where we've got a, a basketball court where we can play black, black dodgeball, and a 32-year-old can get out there and act like a fool. <laughs> so, you know, we had a had a great time, and that's, you know, it's really given us the ability to go out there and serve and, and really bring the community in, just being able to utilize those facilities. It's feeding the people in the classrooms that everybody was there when they could break up in their devotionals that morning of the wrap-up. I mean, they've got a good setup over there that everybody's chipped in to help facilitate so we can actually reach out to other people. It's pretty neat. Well, and not just at the Rock, but also over there in the, at the church and, and with the schools and everything for the, for the little kids. Yeah, the, the, the facilities that we have at First Baptist, um, I think are just, it's, it's pretty amazing what we have uh, at our church. And, you know, we use um, Dare to Be a Daniel is coming up, our VBS this year. 
um, we use that gem exclusively. I mean, the whole entire gem is decorated to look like Babylon. It's, it's amazing what it turns out to look like when those kids show up. And when you see their faces and they, you know, they just look at it like, wow, I feel like we're there. Uh, last year was amazing. It was, you know, pyramids and it looked, you walked in there and there was the River Nile running through. And um, it's just uh, the facilities that we have at First Baptist really, um, I think, um, allow us to move forward and allow us to do daring things for our, for our, our community, for our church, um, and for the kids that are involved. And just like the past generations have done their part to give us these facilities and enable us to do all these great things, it's time for our generation to really step up and do our part and support this church. And through the Cool and Green Initiative, I mean, we've, we've got the ability to do that. We're taking some steps and, and, and really coming up with some great ideas for the church, some way that we can you know, actually add on and build upon what's been set up before. Um, and really take it to the next level and, and go above and beyond by saving energy, by replacing some of the facilities and, and really going on and, and, and taking that, that blueprint or that footprint, if you will, that, that they've started and really building and, and, and just adding to the facilities there at the church. Yeah, I think it's very important. You know, our church has, has stood strong for 150 years here in Athens. And, and I, I hope by doing this, by, by having the Cool and Green Initiative, that it's, it's going to be standing strong for another 150 years. And I think it's super important um, for all future generations. I know my kids are going to benefit from it.